call this meeting to order. I'll we'll start with the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. 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 Mr. President, we received word from Pam Kaznecki and Ed Sinkowitz that they will not be here tonight. Do we have any reason they're not here? Out of town? Um, I don't know. Okay. Another commitment is all I know. All right. Um, let's move on to the call to the public. Yep, we got the handheld. <laughs> we got the handheld, but it's it's over there too. <laughs> <laughs> you need the exercise, Gene. Gene. Six seventy Wolverine Drive. Um, I'm not quite sure what this meeting is about. The agenda was quite curt and didn't say what it was, but I understand walking in that you're going to be looking at new contracts with new companies for picking up trash right we put the, the the waste contract up for bids for RFPs we've got those back okay. and you're going to be looking at those yep well I've been here for 40 some years I don't know how long waste management has been contracting with the village but I am completely satisfied with their service anything I put out there gets picked up I can almost set my clock by what time the garbage truck is going to come back by in the morning. I have another experience with my son who travels quite a bit and I have to put up with the other company and I think one of the biggest things is as a senior trying to drag that big container out especially when it's snowing is one hell of a job so if you're uh, thinking about doing this I wish you would consider those things too the other thing is waste management picks up everything I put out there with the other company if it's not in the bend it doesn't get picked up thank you Thank you. Anybody else from the public? Brian Conaway, Waste Management, Michigan. Not sure what the process is tonight in terms of review of the bids or there's a vote tonight. So, so here, 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 here's what we're going to do okay. is we'll let the administrator expi explain the RFP process, what we did, then we're going to review the bids, and then we hope to award the contract tonight. So is there any opportunity to speak after that is presented or no? I think we've got we've got two representatives, so it, you know it'll be council's pleasure if they want to call on, call on. But I think we'd like to hear from both of you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anybody else during call to the public? Seeing none, I will close the call, and we will move to item five: solid waste, yard waste, bulk leaf service, and recycling collection bids. So I'm going to start with our administrator, and she can explain the RFP process that we went through the review from the administrative committee and our recommendation I think most of you know that our waste um, collection contract expires at the end of December of this year and although we're not uh, happy we're not unhappy with the service we've had in the last several years it was time to go out for proposals to see uh, what other contractors uh, were out there and what bids we would get in so RFPs were sent out and we advertised in November. I bid the contract with a few different alternates this time. The first one was the same service we have now, which is refuse pickup every week, recycling every other week, and yard waste April through November. The second alternate was everything the same that we have currently with the addition of recycling every week. And the third alternate was to have the cart service, which is the 96-gallon cart. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
five proposals were received. And if you look at the spreadsheet that you have in front of you, you will see that at the, on the top, the boxes in the top are the five companies that actually bid uh, for waste collection in the village of Wolverine Lake. The total for the three-year contract is at the bottom of that box in red. That's a, the contract is a three-year contract. We also bid the contract, or the RFP was bid this year without a fuel surcharge. Directly under those boxes, you will see a yearly cost to the residents for refuge, recycling, and yard waste only for each of the three years. Next, you'll see the contractor's cost for collecting and disposing of the bulk leaves under that column. Um, those are the um, leaves that we collect with the tink claw and our waste collector sends a truck and charges us an hourly fee and a per yard fee for dumping. And then finally, you'll see the combined contractor cost for refuse, recycling, yard waste, and leaf pickup per home on an annual basis. And keep in mind that that does not include the cost associated with the DPW's time for running our trucks. On December 13th, the administrative committee met and reviewed the different proposals and the recommendation was to award a three-year contract to Republic Services for every week recycling as presented in your tally. All right. So, so what you see are the boxes that up at the top, which explains um, the total three-year contract for each each company that bid. And you'll see an EW or an EOW, which means every week recycling or every other week recycling. So um, maybe I'll just go across them in order just to make sure everybody's clear on them. Talk a little bit about some of the things that as an administrative committee we, we focused on and why we, why we made the recommendation. So uh, first, first one on the sheet, Advanced disposal every other week came in at uh, 933000 and some odd, the uh, largest total. Second was Duncan disposal every other week, recycling 887000 more or less. Um, waste management, our current contractor, came in at 830000 for every other week. Uh, Rizzo environmental for every week came in at 827 um, Every other week for Republic services came in at 696 71004 and every week with Republic Services was 770949 um, When we talked about this in the admin committee, we, we did a lot, of, a lot of making sure we were doing good apples to apples comparison in terms of the services that we were getting, the costs, um, you know, whether or not there would be a, a, fu a fuel surcharge in the proposal. Uh, we talked a good deal about whether moving to every week recycling <coughs> was merited and we felt we felt it would be of, of good benefit to the residents. Um, everybody's doing a, a great job in the village on on getting stuff for recycling. I see a lot more out there every you know year by year. And when you go out there and look now every other week, it's really starting to overflow for folks. So I think every every week has a lot of advantages to people in terms of just getting it out, moving it out. It also alleviates the confusion, which I know I feel, and I think most of us do. Is it a recycling week? Is it not a recycling week? Um, and boy, if you missed the recycling week, you're really sorry. So um, when we when we looked at them all, we thought there were good proposals. We, we, we think we've gotten great service from waste management all along. We're, we're very happy with that. Uh, the administrator and the treasurer went out and did some and <clears throat> did a good deal of research and talked with some of the some of the communities that Republic contracts with, especially uh, Commerce and White Lake. They're very satisfied with what Republic has done. One of the options we looked at was was the bins as a bin option. A bin option is actually more expensive. Um, mm -hmm. Some communities like it because you get sort of the tidy appearance of just bins out there. 
we didn't think there was there was demand in the community to go to the bin and um, it is inconvenient in some ways so paying more for that service didn't seem merited to us um, and we looked it over we thought every week with uh, with Republic the current trash bill that goes out to folks is about 175 it's on the tax bill, Mr. President. It's 191.64 when everything's taken into account. <laughs> 191.64, and that changes by year based on the, the cost that we have. Uh, yeah. So we're really, with every week recycling, we're we're taking that down a good amount. Um, mm -hmm. If I add in trash, what's what's the final? You, you'd want to be in that lower right hand so corner if you're looking under one public grant. Yeah, and, and the only thing I don't have there uh, in the spreadsheet, Mr. President, would be that we've already always passed along our DPW costs as well. If you if you understand the tink claw operation, you know it's it's partially the uh, waste hauler and <coughs> partially our people, and we put in uh, several, uh, not over a hundred hours, somewhere right around there. Andy swapping out signs, you know, as the as the thing moves to the village, um, the guys are using the uh, tink claw. So associated with that, that was a common cost that was going to be part of any bit. So we kind of left that out here. But if you were to put that in there, it would probably be about seven dollars and fifty cents uh, built into the rate. So you're looking at probably something close to one sixty. Okay, so that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's it's about a thirty dollars a year saving for residents with with that one. Um, I think that's kind of the summary of why the administrative committee made made the decision and the recommendation we did. And we'll kind of open it up to council. <coughs> Questions, comments? I just have a question on uh, truck age and equipment. I mean, some people over time have talked about the loss of hydraulic fluids. Uh, you know, I've seen it in my driveway. Is there anybody here who knows that? I mean, is one of the are both of these companies have about the same equipment age in them? Or let me go to Sharon, and then I we do have Brian Conaway from Waste Management and uh, Scott so both, both of Walk on. From Republic. So, Actually, the question was asked um, <coughs> if they had the proper equipment and the enough e enough equipment mm -hmm. to take us on as far as the age of their trucks. Um, I'm sure that's in the proposal, and I can look it up, or we can ask Scott. <coughs> so, yeah. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Village Council. My name is Scott Kebowatton. I'm the Municipal Services Manager here for uh, Republic Services in Southeast Michigan. And um, I'm pleased to be here in front of the board and honored to be here in front of the uh, council tonight. Um, and I thank you for the, uh, for the opportunity to not only speak for, but for your consideration. Um, as far as it pertains to the hydraulic um, fluids um, and potential leaks, our fleet age is about, I'm gonna ballpark and say it's about six years old, five to six years old. Um, we're one of the largest companies in the United States, very much like waste management. We're a very large company. Every year we get a, a, a series of new trucks. So we're not just replacing our entire fleet this year or next year. We kind of um, filter them and probably very much similar to your fleet with police cars and DPW vehicles. Um, we also go through a very rigorous uh, um, fleet management program called One Fleet. Um, it's a preventative maintenance program that um, repairs all trucks back to OEM standard um, or better. Um, so we're very cognizant of hydraulic leaks and, and ensuring that they don't happen. I cannot guarantee, however, and I will not guarantee that nothing's gonna happen. Um, they spring a leak every once in a while. That's just, that's the nature of our business. Um, if it does happen, we have cleanup crews on, you know, on standby, um, power washers, just depending on the magnitude of, of the, the situation. So um, if we make a mess, we're going to clean it up. Um, we do our best from preventative maintenance and inspection of the trucks, both before they hit the street and after they get, um, after they get back at the end of the day to inspect various parts of the truck, you know, all throughout the truck, um, both from the drivers and our, our maintenance staff to make sure it doesn't happen. But we're probably about a five to six year age fleet. Um, and, you know, we'll do our best to, to make sure that we don't have those kind of leaks, so. Thank you. As long as we've got the question there. Um, Brian, any, anything from you on fleet age or? Honestly, the, I don't, I think the average age of 
Average age of those trucks are probably about seven or eight years old. Okay. okay. And it's same thing with the leak. I mean, our guys are required to provide the maintenance. Shouldn't say provide maintenance, but check their trucks before they leave and when they come back in. So they should be reporting any issues that they have. And and you know, I think this, this kind of speaks to, to 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 both companies are you know large, substantial, really experienced, full fleet full fleet companies. Yeah. No. No doubt about it. We're we're the, we're the largest in the North America. Certainly, um, I do want to have a chance to speak, though, if I could. Okay. Well, shall we let him each have a? Have I a just have one little quick follow-up. Sure. If I might. Um, let's give let's give him the let's give John the follow-up, and then we'll we'll give you a chance. Yeah, to talk. and it really is nothing more than I hesitate to say on Oak Island. I do notice that they do have a small truck <clears throat> that comes around to various areas in the community. Yeah. Uh, I, Republic have the same capability. There's some areas where those big trucks just <coughs> and now would be one, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think there's even some over here on the south side of the road. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's give uh, Scott a chance to address that. Um, we don't operate a um, what we call rat pack, which is probably what you're referring to. It's a very small, um, maybe a, a five to ten yard truck. Um, we have supervisors and pickup trucks that will be out here um, in you know, we do have some smaller, what we call full-size trucks. So we will make sure that um, that we're, number one, going over some areas that, you know, if it takes a lighter truck, like a pickup truck or a supervisor, to pick it up, that's what's gonna have to happen. Um, I think all of your bridges are, are pretty secure as far as weight ratings, and when we did our observations through the community, I don't think there was anything that was really, that threw up any alarm, shall I say. Um, but there are some tight spots in the in the village, and um, we're going to take the uh, appropriate steps to make sure that they're collected properly and, and safely. So if we can do that with a big truck, we do it. If we have to use a small pickup truck or something, a stake truck, something like that, we have those resources as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to give uh, Brian a chance to address this. Yes, thank you, Brian. Not very much, Mayor. Oh, now you got Mayor. council members. Village president. Close enough. <laughs> Village president. <laughs> Appreciate the opportunity to be before you tonight. Just want to really say thank you all very much for the opportunity that Waste Management has had to service this village for a number of years. We appreciate the working relationship we've had with, with, with Mrs. Miller and also the, uh, the staff. We have worked very hard to service every customer every day and to make sure if there were issues that we had that we would respond to them. The only question that I, that I have is there were two different numbers that were read for uh, for Republic with the every other weekend, the mm -hmm. weekly service. And just from what, and I wasn't at the bid opening, but one of the other members were in attendance. It showed on the bid sheet that the weekly recycling was included with the rate that was bid. I guess it was a $10 and 72 cent number. Yeah, we did have a, a per week price when we went through it at the admin level. The, the answer to that, Brian, is that on the alternate bid, it said cart service and every other week um, recycling. And Republic thought the cart service meant every um, week recycling. So they put included with the 1654 if we had the cart service. Okay. So well, the only thing I would say that we bid jobs all the time that's our business and i see scott we pretty much see each other in most of the bids that, that we do <laughs> i would ask that you not approve any changes in rates especially when bids have been opened and all numbers have been read it would be very easy to say that i didn't understand something even though i put included on my bid and then be allowed to change the number because everybody's number is exposed it's very easy to add something that's lower than the next competitor. And I would ask that you not allow that. If that was the case and you can't provide the services at the level that you bid, then that should be spoken and the next mm -hmm. bidder should be looked upon, met with, and determined if they can provide the service at the numbers that they read. That's my, that's my only concern from what I've heard tonight. And thank you all very much again. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. So with that, further further questions from council? <coughs> yeah, I mean, just for clarification, 
Mr. President, I think when we looked at this thing, the recycling every week, it's the same containers we have right now, or we can put it out in a clear plastic bag that they still recognize as recycling so to get picked up that way. So, I mean, that was one concern. And the fact about not using the bulk containers, I can appreciate the comments like Jean made. And I've heard some neighbors, I've talked to them about it, and they said, we well, don't want that big thing. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, and well, I've got a lot of retired people on my street too that it'd be a little bit hard for them to do. So I think what we're doing, going with recycling every week, because a couple of people have told me that's great. Because I never know when to put it out, and sometimes I have too much. The next week, it, it just gets out of hand. So I think those are two good decisions that we've made. I think it will benefit our residents. Thank you. <clears throat> My understanding was that waste management did not offer or, or decided not to quote every week recyclables. Am I wrong about that? No, they did. They I did we quote. Had, we had a number for that. Yeah. We did. It, it was, was that on the first spreadsheet we saw? No. Yeah. It, their, their bid was fifteen dollars and sixty cents per unit per with recycling every week. I did, I kind of ran out of space on the spreadsheet, but that kind of put them way out of the. Well, it was fifteen sixty for the first year, first year sixteen oh right. six for the second year, and sixteen fifty four for <coughs> two thousand sixteen. What was the second year? Sixteen oh six. In terms of a raw yeah, number, that totally fifteen sixty times twelve would, would represent one hundred eighty seven dollars. That alone, per that we pass through, before any of the other costs associated with, um, <coughs> even centers, which was right. our mm -hmm. higher. Yeah, yeah Ron, this, this this sheet may look familiar to them. That was the one we worked yeah. off of when we looked at right. that part of the bid. So um, when we met, my 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 concerns were two more or less broad con comprehensive issue uh, concerns. One was the stability of the company. They're both publicly traded, as I understand from the Treasurer's office. Uh, they're not a likely target for, you know, takeover. They're stable financially. They're on solid footings financially and they have a great reputation. And there was nothing else to concern there. On, on, the other, on going down to the, the service level, it wasn't a case of <coughs> having any problems with waste management. It was, it, it came down to really uh, every other week uh, recycling, which I know from the people that I've talked to, is constituents that, that that is very important, and, and that's very significant. And I and and uh, and then it came down post that it's it's a, a fiduciary uh, issue, mm -hmm. and and the bottom line is with or without the recycling every other week, every week it's substantial, and uh, I think that that's really what tips the scale. Although I'm, I'm, I, I was a little misunderstanding about the every other week delivery. I mean, I know the costs were, uh, the, the, the quotes were substantially different anyway. So I, I kind of feel bad that I, I kind of missed that in, in admin. But in any event, I think that the, 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 the difference in the numbers is substantial. And uh, anecdotally from people in commerce and, and other, other things, I, I, I think it's going to be the, the service has been great with waste management, and I expect it to be great if we decide to go with the Republic. So really, it's those are the determining factors in my view. Well, certainly, if it isn't, the contract will come up for bids, bids again. Yeah. Um, and I just one more thing. I just want to follow up what Brown said about waste management. We've had no issues. I've been here in the building since '05, and and you guys have been around. And, and I mean, we had, I lived in the Pittsburgh area, south of Pittsburgh, we had mace management there too. And we had no issues with them, okay? So I mean, they were always a good company. So, thank you. So I think with that, I would entertain a motion to award <laughs> the contract for solid waste, yard waste, bulk leaf services, and recycling collection to Republic with every week recycling no bins as presented in the RFP. So moved. Second. Motion Scott. Second Medro. Further discussion on that? Anything else we need in there from I think as presented. As presented. Covers it. Yeah, we've got that. Okay. Any further discussion on the motion? I guess not, no discussion really, but I, I want to piggyback on what, what passed this too. I mean, I don't want this framed as like we're just any any level of discipline with waste management. I mean, I, they've they've done at my house that you know they've done a great job. They pick up everything that, that's out there, mm -hmm. and they've done a nice job. But you know, this is something that we passed the we passed the cost onto this 
you know. Yeah, it was it was property a by substantial property. Saving. It's just uh, not like some of the costs in the village that we incur. So, uh, I think it's important that we stick. You know, the, this is it just this is what makes the decision relevant. Not easy, but the, it's the deciding factor. Mr. President, I would like to say too that I've worked with waste management and Brian for I think two decades now. When you were BFI and other companies. Um, so they have done a wonderful job for us. I, I have no complaints. We have a, a route supervisor that comes in here every week. And so it has nothing to do with waste management. We've had mm -hmm. wonderful service and we appreciate that. Thank you. Yep. Further discussion? I'll we make get? it unanimous and I'll agree with all. Uh, <laughs> when we've had troubles and, and called, they've been right down there picking them up. So. I'm also one of those guys who do walk back from the front yard with the green thing saying, oh, man, wrong week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two or three times going back and forth saying, oh, man. That, that is a large, it is a, it large is a, percentage of calls that yeah. we get every single week, too. Is it my week or? Yeah. Well, we actually have two bins, so going every week, maybe we'll be able to stick one out <laughs> instead of carrying two. So. All right, seeing no further discussion, let me get a roll call vote. Chad? Yes. Negro? Yes. Navy? Yes. Combo? Yes. Navy. Yes. Thank you, Council. Thank you both, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Look forward to working with you. I've enjoyed it. So with that, that, that is our item of, of business for today. Um, before I seek a motion to adjourn, I uh, just want to remind everybody, another one tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. Same place, same, same time. time. Same Seven o'clock. Um, actually, not same let me place. take it back. Not, not same, same place. place. We will be in the <coughs> upstairs chamber because it is a uh, closed set. We're going to have. Night. We're going. Yeah. Planning is going to be down here. We're going to open in open session. We're going to go into closed session to discuss attorney's opinion regarding the weed harvester, and uh, then we will come back out of closed session. We're going to do that all that upstairs. Anybody who wants to attend the open session part of it is welcome to come. So um, with that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Second. Motion Nedro. Second Combo. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. <laughs>